For more Liquid Lunch, head over to YouTube, do a search for Liquid Lunch TV, and hit that subscribe button. Hey, welcome back. It's uh, the final segment, last call, closing time for this Tuesday Table Talk edition of Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. Usually we call this segment WTF, What's the Facts? Because my co-host Frank Morano, who keeps me in line, keeps me up to speed, makes sure I don't exaggerate, make things up, he crosses the T's, he dots the I's, does all that stuff. He usually fact checks me. Um, but today Nate Bradley joins me again, and I'm gonna fact check him first because he said a company can commoditize their data. These guys are gonna refine it in the data refinery over at Data Donate Technologies, not, right? That's, that's right. That's it. And you got the Data Vault also, your CTO. Um, now you're gonna refine it, then you're gonna put it in its own vault, you're gonna put a manufacturer's suggested retail price on it, and then um, you're gonna give these companies an opportunity to go out, and put them on your exchange and sell that commodity. Show me how it's done. Well, first, you know, security. Show us how it's done. Security is vital component of this. Uh, so I'm going to log into my vault. Um, I'm able to then uh, create a uh, an object around any data asset. Let's this, zero in on that. Let's make sure he's not checking us. This okay. particular vault uh, has uh, some objects in here. You can see a valuation, about 13 grand worth of, of data and 27 token, 27,000 tokens. I'm collecting these on a daily basis. I'm objectifying this data. And so by uh, placing that onto the exchange, I'm Got able it. to uh, log into the exchange uh, and where I can select uh, data from the exchange. I can uh, select this particular asset and buy this asset. I can confirm my buy. Uh, I, uh, I just place data from that uh, refinery onto a vault. I looked at its value. I made it available on an exchange. I purchased it here. And by uh, executing a trade, I then receive a token. Uh, that token unlocks the data from my vault and allows the, uh, allows the buyer to access the data asset. It's like magic. It's like magic. You don't know that all these companies out there are sucking the blood out of you by taking all the data in your phone. Where you standing? Where you walking? What pictures did you take? Where were you when you took the picture? All this other stuff that's in your phone, they're taking it from you and they're selling it and repurposing it and selling it and selling it and selling it. They're keeping all the cash. And now, Nat, at Data Vault. And the other thing that I loved about it when I heard about this is, you guys have a feature through Data Donate where people can decide to say, all right, fine, I want to get rid of my data and I can donate it and then they can donate it tax free, right? You guys have a 501c3 in there. That's right. So uh, it's, it's really our namesake, Data Donate Technologies. We're about the biggest give back in the history of man. We, we believe that we're going to be able to objectify data uh, for 501c3 operations and other faith-based organizations. To I trade hate to data. put you in this spot. Final thought, my co-host usually fact checks me. You've been here for the whole show. Any mistakes you saw that I made? Well, if I were to point out one mistake so far, the only one I saw today was that you're not already on our vault. Oh, all right. So we got to uh, talk to uh, the directors and my CEO, Annette, and invest you, and maybe we'll just be on that data vault. So tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel right here.